Hello and welcome to another Random Tech 887 review and today we are going to be looking at the Pebble Time um, in black. Now this watch goes for around £130, I'm not sure what it is in other currency is. Um, but yeah it's just your standard smart watch, it's got a special e-ink display or e-paper display. So it never turns off, as you can see right now the backlight isn't even on and you can see how bright that is but the viewing angles you must get it right for it to be clear and obviously you can activate the backlight by um, shaking your wrist. Now um, day to day use of this device I've got to say is it's been amazing. Now I wouldn't agree with the claim that you can get 7 day battery life. But I would say that you can get three, maybe four days out of it, which is good because if you go out on a night out or whatever, you don't want your nice shiny new smartwatch being dead on your wrist and it's just dead weight on your wrist. Now that's one thing that me personally, I did not want. So this is why I went with the Pebble Time because it had the best battery life of any smartwatch in any field. And I don't really need that extra functionality that the other watches offer with the touch screen and whatever else. These four buttons here, um, they make the usability of the device great and you don't even need to find the need for a touch screen. Now, <clears throat> this device, um, you can install up to 50 apps or watch faces. can't remember what this watch face I've got on right now is called, but... This is my favourite one so far, it cycles through um, different colours that you can set um, and it does show animation when the minute changes. Um, it's also got the weather up here and the date and a little battery indicator. But you can customise where, um, where this weather comes from, if you want that battery meter there, how big you want these right, how big you want the writing. So, um, customizability on this as you can see it did just change color and you saw the animation there but yeah um, customization with this watch is great um, you can literally change most things about it how uh, you've got your standard um, this is a menu control so you've got settings tiny reel which is a game which I can quickly show you which is actually Instagram for um all oh right it's not working right now but it does normally work it's Instagram for the pebble time it the color obviously the colors are not great and the picture doesn't look great but it is just handy just to look through um you got your health application here which I've had 5810 steps typical which isn't that great but um yeah you get the idea of that as you can see the animations as you move through the watch they're quite funky and it makes the the UI flow within another so if I go on music you'll see how that's switched in um switched to that and it does look quite nice and here's your music controls I'm not going to activate this right now because I'm using the phone that's this watch is paired to to record this right now which is an iPhone 6s plus um, now I am using it on iPhone, but um, yeah, I don't miss that you can't um, use the text voice, te voice to text. Um, I couldn't really use Team a practical use for that, but it would be good if you could answer and receive calls on the device. That is one thing that I do think to myself they could have added. Um, so here you've got your notifications. Go back. Let me just check there's nothing. So yeah, here's your notifications. It's telling me I've got to reach my step goal, miss call of someone, auto wrap, something else. I don't want to go too detailed into that because obviously they're my personal notifications. Here you've got alarms, which is pretty straightforward. Watch faces. Now obviously like I said you can change this. So modular watch, which I had for a while. It's all that funky animation there. So it sits here and loads, loads it up. I'm guessing from the phone. 
but I'm not 100% sure about that. It could just be processing it on the watch. As you see this one, it looks a lot like the Apple Watch. And um, it looks quite nice. You've got, you've got the sunrise on here, um, the temperature, your battery life of the watch itself. Um, anyway, so you get the idea about watch, <coughs> watch faces, but you can... Um, you don't have to, have, you can literally, there's literally loads and loads of different watch faces that you can find on the app store. Now, you've got your timer, which is straightforward, stopwatch. Just has to load up a minute there. Straightforward, so we need to, um, now this is iTunes C remote. Probably won't work now, because I'm not on the network. But, um, with this app, you can control iTunes and Spotify straight off um, from your computer, from your watch. It does use your phone, obviously. But yeah, it's really handy if you um, like to listen to music on your computer and you want to just change the song. Um, Tidy Bird, which is a game, which is basically Flappy Bird for your watch. Now, I will have a separate video um, explaining what some of the best apps are right now for the watch and obviously I can't play that right now. Pixel Miner is another game, Fit Cat which is like this another game. And here you've just got um all the other apps. Um but yeah um as you can see I'm not sure if you can see this well on the camera here. Give that to flip. here there is a little mark, a little scratch mark. Um which has come out from me going out on a night out. That's the only mark that's there, but it is disappointing that it's there. I'm not sure how it happens. I do have pretty long nails, but I'm not exactly sure if what could be done about that. I think it's probably permanent now. I have ordered um a new uh, some screen protectors for this, but obviously that's not going to help out with the outer border. But it's a minor thing. But it is a shame that scratches on the front can obviously can be quite easy and obviously the time steel would better protect you from that but yeah um, around the device at the back you've got a charging port which is magnetic which is similar to like a macbook um, charger where it just snaps on it's, uh, fifth, well 30 water resist 30 meter water resistant it's got these easy um, tart clasps on here which means you can just remove and put any 22mm standard watch band on there. But um, yeah, day to day use. I love this device. It catches people's eyes, especially at the club. They're like, oh, what's that? Um, the screen in the daytime, as you can see in this angle, it just looks brilliant. Um, and yet again, the battery life is unbeatable right now. There is no other smartwatch that can compete with this. And one thing you've got to ask yourself if you're considering this watch and other watches. Are you seriously going to sit on your watch and look at Instagram or do a tweet or blah 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 when your phone's just in your pocket? Is that really necessary? I'll leave you. I'll leave that to the side from you lot. But um, yeah, I'm very impressed with the device. Um, I installed the app, which is this timeline, which shows if you had... If you had um, dates and calendars, you can go backwards or forwards through your calendar. That's tomorrow. So there's a sunrise, sunset, Thursday. I don't really use calendar that much. So. Yeah, but what I've done, there's this app which makes it, which make which um, sh shows the, the news in your time view. So here, there's some news going on. What's Something that was cool there. And the mirror tube, like, you can just read, like, little, little sub, not the whole article, obviously. But you can just keep you up to date. I use this, um, quite a lot. It's a very good feature. It's just to catch up on what's going on on the internet. And you can set this up with RSS feeds. I might do a separate video on that. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching obviously let me know if you want to see what else you want to see i might do a follow-up video showing the best apps that you can use with the watch but until then thanks for watching comment rate subscribe i'm out
statue. 